Okay, let us be discussed problem 1.139. So I think you have done the question. So let me read the question what this says. So this says a smooth rubber cord of length L whose coefficient of elasticity is K. So I have a cord. Let me first make the diagram for you. So there is a cord that is attached to the ceiling. This cord, some hook it is attached at one end. So this end is B, this end is O. Now there is a mass A that is attached here. Now I think I should make the question. So this is a smooth rubber cord. So this is a smooth. Rubber cord is a smooth. That is mu is equals to zero. Of length L. So length of the cord is L. Of course this will be massless I think. So whose coefficient of elasticity is K. Elasticity coefficient K is given to you. It is suspended by one end from point O. So this is suspended by one end from point O. The other end is fitted with catch B. So other end there is a catch that this means the, if this mass falls this can catch here. So there is a catch at the other end. A small sleeve A. So this is a sleeve of mass M. So mass of the sleeve is M. Are you getting? So let me write here. So M is the mass of sleeve. Are you getting? So this is the mass of sleeve. Mass M starts falling from point O. So this starts falling from point O. So initially this sleeve is here. Now it starts falling. Find the neglecting the masses of thread and catch. So there is very less mass of thread and catch. You can neglect the mass of catch and thread. So thread and catch is massless. Are you getting? Find the maximum elongation of cord. Are you getting? So this says the other end is fitted with cash B, a small sleeve A of mass M starts falling from point O. Neglecting the masses of thread and catch, find the maximum elongation of cord. You have to find maximum elongation. So you see what will happen. If you leave this sleeve, this sleeve will come down. And this slip will come down and this will basically collide with this catch. When it reaches here, this will also have a velocity. So let me write. So initially this is the situation. Your sleeve is somewhere here. Now if you leave, this will sleeve will come here. But now once this comes, this will also have a velocity. So sleeve will have some velocity. Because this is coming from the top, so basically it will have under root 2ZL velocity. And once this comes here, this collides with the catch, let us say the system is frictionless, so there is no loss of energy. Due to this velocity, the catch will itself go again slightly below. So this will reach up to here, and then it will come into the rest. So final velocity will be zero. And this is the maximum elongation you will have. Are you getting or not? So this is, let us say, this is the x, that is the maximum elongation you will have. So this means initial velocity of the sleeve is zero, final velocity of the system is zero. Why? Because I need maximum elongation. If there is a velocity that persists, it will go again some more below. That is not possible. So if I have maximum elongation, in that case velocity should be zero. So this is case maximum elongation. And that's why this velocity has to be zero. Now we have to find the value of x. So what we will do is we will apply change in kinetic energy is equals to work done. And what are the forces that is doing work? So let me see how many of you can write. Let me take one minute time. So this is basically easy question. Everybody should be able to find the value of x. If you are not able to find there is some problem. Okay, I think all of you have still written the equation, so let me write. 
So change in kinetic energy is zero. So what are the forces that is doing work? So one force that is doing work is the a string gets elongated. So the force, the work done by the a string is minus half k x square. K is the constant of a spring, and x is the elongation. So we will have half k x square. And the work done by the gravity, since this gravity force is acting downward, and this is also coming downward, so work done will be positive. So m g h. So what is the distance? So this has traveled by the distance l plus x. So this length is l. Initial length is l naught, or l you can say. And this is x. So we will have l naught plus x. Are you getting or not? Let me explain again, because. The gravity is done in the downward direction, and this object is also falling in the downward direction. So work done by the gravity is positive. Work done by the string, this elastic string will be negative because this is a, a string is stretched in the downward direction, but it has applied a force in the upward direction. That's why this force will be negative. So now I have to solve for x. So let us say we will have, uh, I will have a quadratic equation. So this is minus k x square plus 2 mz l not plus 2 mz x. This is equals to zero. If I multiply by x square, a uh, minus sign, so I will have k x square minus 2 mz l not minus 2 mz x. This is equals to zero. Now x will be minus b, so minus will be 2 mz. So this is b. Are getting? Or I should write in a more better way. So let us write k x square minus 2 m z x minus 2 m z l not. This is equals to zero. Now let us take the quadratic root. X will be minus b, so 2 m z, and negative root. You will have two root plus minus b square. 2 m z whole square. B square minus 4 a c. So minus minus plus, you will have at m z and not for a c. So you will have k also divided by 2 k. Now negative root, I should to take the negative root because if I take positive root, that will give you the bigger value of x. If you take negative root, ah, negative root is not possible. You see here. If you take negative root, this is this value is 2 mz, and this value is so this total value will be greater than 2 mz. That negative, and it with a negative sign, so I have to neglect the negative sign. So the answer will be so if I cancel 2, so I will have mz plus. I cannot take negative root. You can understand yourself. And this 2 goes out, so I will have m square g square, and I should to divide by 4, so I will have 2 m z l not into k. Are you getting or not? So, if I want, I can write in a better way. X is equals to m z. If I take m z by k common, so I will have here 1 plus under root. I have taken m z by k common, so k is common. So I have to divide by m square g square. So this is one plus, so two and not k divided by m z. So this is the final answer we will have. So this is the maximum elongation of the string. What is the important part we have in this question? In this question, one important part we have: the maximum elongation is possible only when The velocity of sleep becomes zero. That is the one point. Now, if the initial and final velocity are zero, I can always apply the change in kinetic energy equals to work done. And what are the forces that is doing work? Gravity as well as elastic force. So, work done by elastic force is minus half k x square. Work done by gravity will be m g h. And if I equate it to zero, I will find x. That is the basically quadratic equation here we have. Okay let us go for the next problem i think all of you have copied this one 